Happy Friday. Put on my band cam hat for a throwback for all you seasoned marching band flutists. Hope you like it, appreciate it. Um, today we're going to do the basics for Exultate or Exultate. I'm not sure how to say it, but it's by Samuel Hazo. It's the third flute excerpt. Basics, okay? First thing, look up those trill fingerings. Look them up. Don't make it up. Finger Charts app. Download it. Google. I don't care. Just find it. Uh, a side note about trills in general, <clears throat> for the most part, you just trill up to the next note in the scale, unless there's another marking that says otherwise. So for example, the very first trill, that high D, the next note um, possible is some type of E, and you would know to use E flat, not E natural, because the key signature shows E flat. Okay. Um, Second thing, there are, there are a lot of time changes in this in this piece, but because the quarter note is always staying the same, it's actually harder for your conductor than for you to be keeping track of this. So I would encourage you to ask Mr. Steele for his audition video. Ask him. Uh, next, when you're learning this, take out the grace notes to start. I don't want that to interrupt your sense of the rhythm. Just, I do that all the time. I just take out all the grace notes, learn it bare bones, and then add them in later. Um, lastly, scanning through this, there are a lot of runs. But if you look at those runs, most of them are scalular. Meaning, if you know your B-flat scale with pretty good fluidity, pretty good facility, these runs are going to come pretty quickly for you. The technique will set pretty quickly. So don't freak out too much especially when you hear the piece, which you should be Googling it. I Googled it because I don't know this piece, and the very first thing I found was a YouTube video. It's super easy. Okay, so find your trill fingerings, listen to it, um, take out those grace notes, and get to work. Don't forget your whipped coffee. It helps, so I hear. Have fun.